What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd do something really fun. I am taking the MBTI test. I don't know why I kind of <laughs> paused for a second because I wasn't sure. I was not sure. But I technically know what I'm going to be, but I want y'all to guess to, you know, I want y'all to guess if I'm an introvert, extrovert, and if you want to get all fancy, guess exactly what type I am in the comments below before you watch this because I think it'll be fun that we play this together so y'all can see what kind of person I am and what personality I have. And let me know what you are down below. This is going to be interesting and probably a huge shock to some of y'all. So maybe, you know, depends. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Okay, um, last time I took this was three years ago, and I took it a few weeks, a few months ago, and I had my, 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 my type, you know, and it was the same as it was three years ago, which is crazy, <laughs> but I'm ready. So, I actually forgot to start right away, so you regularly make new friends, kinda. Spend a lot of free time exploring various random topics. Yes, is there? There's a channel called Wired, and they're so they're so cool. They like uh, CSI agent replies to tweets on Twitter and breaks down. You know, it's pretty cool. Like people ask questions, and you know, they reply to it. It's pretty cool. See other people cry. Yes, <laughs> you have a backup plan for a backup plan. I'm going to just be neutral on that because I'm not sure. Usually stay calm even though there's a lot of pressure. No. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> you prefer to finish one project to... I am so all over the place. I'm not going to lie. Sentimental. Yes. Organizing tools. No. <laughs> I use my brain if that counts. Even us. Yes. <laughs> You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Sometimes. Like if there was a girl with wild blue hair, I'd be like, yo, your hair is awesome. And then boom, nice to meet you. All that. You are not too interested in, dis in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. Okay, that's a very specific question. I'm just going to be neutral. <laughs> You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Ooh. Yeah, because my heart lied to me a lot of times, so. <laughs> Usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment. Yes. It's so bad. It's so annoying. Because, like, I was talking about this with my friend. He was like, yeah, let's, you know, we can create a schedule. It'll help us. But what she said makes sense. Don't plan it out and be like, oh, do this at 12 o'clock. Just get an activity, whatever you're doing, and just plan how you're going to do it, how long you're going to do it for, and then move on to something else instead of just planning it out because anything can change. Then you can just move it. So that's, yeah, that's kind of why I don't have a regular routine. <laughs> really worry about good impression exactly because... I do not care about human beings that much. Like, whatever you think of me, you think of me. If you think I'm a nice person, then thank you. If you think I'm a jerk, okay, <laughs> sure, fine, have a nice life. I don't know. You enjoy participating in, I'm neutral about that, especially when I'm online. I see people in a call and I don't want to disturb. You like books and movies? Um, thing is, I like books, yes, but I don't watch many movies, so I'm going to just do that. I mean, it just doesn't matter to me. Japanese comes more from helping. Yes. I love helping people so much. Okay. Oh my God. It makes me feel good. You're interested in so many things that you find it difficult. Yes. You are prone to worrying things that things will take. No. I actually don't really worry about that. <laughs> you avoid leader. Yes. Because I am bad when it comes to this. I am so all over face. Like I could do it. And at the same time, I couldn't. In person, maybe. Online, no. <laughs> Definitely not an artistic. That's a lie. I'm an artist. You think the world 
oh, would be a better place if people relied on rationality and less on their feelings. I don't care about that question. You prefer to do your chores before like, okay, I'm an idiot. So, um, sometimes I'm like, I'm relaxing and then I realize I have to do something and I'm like, just slogging. I don't know what kind of question that is. Skip. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Yep. Your mood can change very quickly. Yep. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Yep. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Sometimes. <laughs> no, it's been fascinating. No, because I know. So, I mean, come on. Heaven? Hell. Either one. You prefer to be around others. I am perfectly fine with being by myself. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. You can't tell me this happens a lot. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. I'm just like, could, could, could we not? Could we not? Can we just go back to what we were doing? I mean, it, it kills me. It's like, it's just like too much thought into it sometimes. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different than yours. Of course, you know, everyone has their own story. So that's very nice, you know. You usually postpone finalizing the decision. <laughs> yes. You rarely second guess. Wow. I disagree. Especially when it comes to gaming. I know. When I game, I'm like, dang, I should have not done that type of thing, you know? Especially with those choice games or I feel like an idiot. Like when I'm like in the online game and I'm like, oh, should I have picked that weapon up? No, nah, I think I'm fine. You know, this type of. I don't know, random, I know. After a long, exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. No, because I do that all week. <laughs> Every night at 10 p.m., I get on call with my friends and we study some Korean and it's pretty fun. And it could be up to 10 of us in the room and I'm perfectly fine with that. You enjoy, yes, it's actually pretty fun. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Mm, sometimes it depends if i haven't been through it then i won't really hearing noises outside it's probably garbage man sorry i was like uh <laughs> okay but sometimes i won't understand if i haven't been through it it's kind of hard for me to connect but depending on someone else's story i'd be like yeah I, I feel that you know even if it's totally different to mine like i'm sorry you went through that but i understand type of thing but other people's feelings it kind of depends on what it is to do this for each day yes but when i do it depends okay you rarely feel insecure sometimes i do sometimes i don't it's just life i mean you can feel insecure about one thing about another thing it doesn't have to be about beauty it could be just about skills and stuff i mean yeah you avoid making phone calls a lot of times yes <laughs> But when I'm studying with my friend on the daily, I don't mind it. But just actually calling a person is very hard for me. I'm like, ah, hello? Duh. You know, type of thing. But it's okay, you know. All right. You often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Not really. I'm just going to be neutral about that because it, once again, depends. In your social circle, you are often one who contacts your friends. And in, yes, I am because sometimes I am bored and I'm like, bro, when are we going to play games? So, yes. <laughs> if your plans are interrupted, your type priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Yes. Because sometimes I'm like, bro, I ain't want to wash dishes right now. I was going to do this, 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 then wash dishes, then, you know. But sometimes I really have to before my dad gets home because he takes really long showers. So, yeah. You are still bothered by mistakes you made a long time ago. No, I'm good. <laughs> you really contemplate the reasons. Yeah, I really do. I mean, it's it's fine. I'm like, we're here. We live through it. And then we die. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> Your emotions control more than you control them. Now, that's a very deep question. Yes. <laughs> depending on the time so yes but not a hundred percent of the time sometimes i can't control you can take you do english you take great care not to make people look bad yes i love defending people you know because mike it's fine you know everyone makes mistakes it's fine type of thing right <laughs> Whew, okay burst your personal memory burst of energy yes 
when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it takes for them to feel disappointed in you. No, because you're either disappointed or not disappointed. So, I mean, <laughs> you love to try the cards you the most work alone. Not really. I like socializing. That's pretty fun. <laughs> yes, whatever that is. <laughs> feel more strong places but busy yes actually look i love busy cities even though sometimes it gives me anxiety and be like <gasps> it's still cool to see a thriving city you know at first glance how someone is feeling yes <laughs> you often feel overwhelmed not really depending what i'm feeling overwhelmed or out you think things better thought okay without skipping over steps no i just go with the flow <laughs> K-pop, all right? K-pop controversies are actually pretty fun and interesting. Even though they're bad, they're sometimes really interesting. And you know what to avoid if you're especially going to be a K-pop idol and an artist. Like, I will be... Sometimes you need to watch that stuff so you can, you know, not do what they do or avoid that label or company, etc. If someone needed it more, probably. You struggle with deadlines, kind of. You're confident that things will work out for you, always. All right, I am female. Let's go. <gasps> ding, ding, ding! Yes, yes. I have, this is the same type I have been for so freaking long. You won't believe it. <laughs> I have been ISFBA for so long. Hold up, I think, I think, give me one second. Hold up. I'm going through my photos, I'm going through my photos. Vacation, 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 vacation vlogs stuff yep here's another picture this is from october 9th <laughs> isfpa i have been the same type for three four years straight it's ridiculous if you guessed right then congratulations if you didn't then yes i am an introvert i yeah i i, I love being introverted i've always been introverted ever since my brother moved out i kept to myself a lot and I've been like that ever since it's kind of just better for me too which is fine I literally the exact same I swear I'd be answering these questions the exact same way every time without knowing I am 59% introverted 41% extroverted once again I have a screenshot that says exactly this oh 57% observing intuitive okay I'm down to earth okay okay Feeling? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Value emotional expressions. I, I love when someone's like, you can't be like hard and blah, 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 all the time. I mean, if you have emotions, you want to share your feelings. I'm always down to listen, you know. Judging? I never judge. Sometimes I do. Hard, like side eye, bombastic. It just depends what it is, you know. Sometimes it's bad. Oh, assertive, okay. Self-assured, yes. Even-tempered, yes. And resistant to stress, yes. Because I used to stress a lot, but now I don't really anymore. They refuse to worry too much and tend to be self-confident when striving to achieve goals. Yes. <laughs> I'm very confident in myself. Um, no, because I don't want them to know every single time. So yeah, I, I just screenshot it. <laughs> Let's go. Me. Other adventurers you may know, Lana Del Rey, Joan Cook from BTS. Yes. Avril Lavigne. Don't know who she is. Kevin Costner. You got Frida Kahlo. Have no idea who she is. You got Britney Spears, Slay, Michael Jackson. We all know that. Jessica Alba. Joss Stone. Beatrix from Kill Bill. Dude from Bacon Bad, some ancient lady from a show. Okay, you got Kate, Claire, Hugo, Thea, my favorite, Remy Hadley from Freaking House. That is my show. Like, I watched that whole series every single season. Me and my parents watch every single episode, every single series, except for the ones that were, you know, rated r <laughs> it's not a kid friendly show i'm not gonna lie but it's pretty interesting a lot of them is actually cool for teens to watch 
she is a huge sleigh. That's what she is. She is a G. All right. Love this girl. She's awesome. She was definitely an introvert. I love that woman so much. And Edith Crowley from Downton Abbey. So yeah, guys, if you guess right, let me know down below. I am an introvert and a 41% extrovert. And that extrovertness is me when I am online, me when I'm recording videos in person, I am definitely more introverted and sometimes a little bit shy, but it's just depending who I'm talking to. So yeah. But guys, hope you enjoyed this. And once again, let me know who you are down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And no.